Okay, you know, I'm gonna check to see if Tony's in the audience because he often is. I beat Somebody you to grab it. him? Okay, perfect. All right, then it is 731. Let's call to order the meeting of the Southboro ARPA committee for May 24th. Um, we'll do a quick roll call um, attendance. Uh, Mr. Martell. Sorry, present. Ms. Rubenstein. Here. Mr. Wood. Here. Palmer. Here. Ms. Luttrell. Here. Mr. Schoner. Here. And I am here, Andrea Hamilton. Um, we will have, uh, Joe's got his notes formula already out. Um, so we'll get those filled in as we go. Um, so let me just kick over to the agenda. We're gonna try to keep this one really short and sweet because I know we've got a couple folks who are trying to get over to Capitol. All right, let me know when you can see. All right. Okay, so we're going to do our final tweaking on our numbers to account for the costs that came in from the consultant. Um, I left just an open box here if there's any further discussion anyone wants to have on the presentation with the select board last week or just anything more broadly around the committee. Um, I think here we can make a decision on whether or not we want to dissolve the committee or um, leave it open um, in case uh, it's looked to reconvene. Um, next steps are hopefully that we're done. Um, but we can talk there. Um, we've got three sets of open minutes to vote on. Um, I'll open for public comment. Um, again, if there's anything, if, if we determine we need another meeting that's available, we could set it up. Hopefully we don't. Um, and then just closing out um, on the minutes from today, which should make us done. All right. So first item on the agenda is just tidying up um, those figures. So let me pop over. I cleaned up the spreadsheet we have because I've had a couple folks ask um, if we can share kind of everything in spreadsheet <laughs> configuration. Um, so this is just all the different um, requests we've fielded so far. I know I sent this around. If anyone wants any edits to anything, uh, let me know now and I can update it. Um, but, but really, I just try to keep everything we had in the old one, just clean up a little bit. Um, the big thing is that we got in those consultant fees. So we're fine if we're just looking at ARPA fees, but there's, um, I guess, anything that's coming from that consultant is getting applied against this. So right now there's only about $9,000 spent, but it can go up to 49,600. So my recommendation is that we reconcile against that full number. Um, I'd rather be have a little extra than be under. So right now, if I add everything up, I get to um, that we need to reconcile about, uh, I just call it $46,000. And the only other change here that that includes is this, um, the funding for the director position for the Board of Health. Originally, we've made this 104 to account for either the nurse and director position in FY23 or the director position in FY23 and 24. Um, now that town meeting has happened and um, the hall has voted to stick with the director position across two years, um, this number decreases from 104, or I recommend this number decreases from 104 to the 101, 825. That's for that two year director position. Um, are, are there any questions about that? It, it's just sort of making this number now whole to what is actually happening, which actually gives us a little more slack in the final number. Good. Okay. So then it's really just figuring out, um, again, I just call this 46. So I'm, I'm open to all sorts of ideas. I think my recommendation or the, the two that I had thought of would be to either take this 46 out from the sidewalk budget because that's the most flexible budget or take 23 out of sidewalks and 23 out of tax abatement. I, I think those are the two most easily flexible um, line items we have here. I would take the tax abatement It'll, it'll give the, uh, the, fl the flexibility for the selectmen and just throw it back in when, when they find out what the actual figure is going to be. And if they want to change, we, we, we all know if they want to change it from sidewalks, they'll do it from sidewalks or from somewhere else eventually anyway. So. Okay. so any other that's, thoughts? That's my preference. So, so that's the full 40, uh, 45, 263, or you can call it, I, I, yeah, I just call it 46, um, out of the, um, the tax abatement number. See, I'd do it the opposite. I'd take it out of sidewalk and leave the tax abatement. 
just because everybody spoke up, that was the number one thing was tax abatement on our top five. I support so, John then. Let's take it out of the sidewalk. <laughs> that's just, that's just, I mean, that's just me. I'm good. It doesn't really make, again, whatever we say, we're just purely advisory anyway. They're going to do what they want. Mm -hmm. Any other strong opinions in either direction? So here, take it out of sidewalks with the rationale being that the tax abatement was the number one thing that folks had asked for. And so kind of leaving that number as is and reducing down sidewalks a little bit. Do folks agree with that approach generally? I do, thank um, you. That makes sense to me. And the sidewalks is um, greater than what was asked for anyway. So. That's true. I oh, agree okay also. Oh, yep, go ahead, Anne, sorry. I, I agree also. Okay. Joe, are you okay with that? You'd spoke up in the other direction. 100% good. Okay. Um, I think the only person I haven't, oh, no, Tony and Tim, I, do either of you have any argument against that? You're good? Okay. So I'm gonna take $46,000 off of sidewalks, which should be, uh, so make it, is that 704? I did this right, show us. Yeah, okay. Let me highlight that as something that's changed just so that if anyone looking at this can be really easily see what was changed here. Okay, so. Do we need to make a motion and vote on that, Andrea? I think so. And I think Joe, what you were saying is we'd amend the original um, vote, right? To make this adjustment. Yep, why doesn't Ann just um, make a motion to amend? Okay, because we have Ann in the script. All right. <laughs> I love that. You guys are great. <laughs> it was all Joe. Absolutely brilliant. I make a motion to amend uh, the previous recommendation to, redu to reduce the sidewalk budget by the amount. Uh, 46,000. 46,000. 46, whatever. Yes, $46,000 to balance our recommendations. The reduction in the Board of Health funding? And also the reduction in the Board of Health funding. Second. All right, discussion. Do we need to also add, sorry, I can just think about this, the 49,600 for the consultant? I mean, that's not really something we're voting on. That's that's just money that's already there. Maybe just say reduce sidewalks to account for the increase in the consultant fee or something. So, that's how I'm going to make my amendment. So are you amending your uh, I'm amending motion. my amendment to uh, to reduce to increase to account for the increase in the amount for the consultant. Say it again, Anna. Let me just write it down, and then we can all see it. Uh, I, I forgot how I'm doing it. Um, I would like to reduce the amount of the sidewalks by forty six thousand, and reduce the amount of the. Um, Health director position to the 104, 5, 6, 5, 4, 7, uh, in order to account for uh, an increase in the consultant budget line to 40, I can't read the amount, 49, 5. Is that correct? 49, 6. 49, 6. Any consultant to so and this is what I have. I move to reduce the amount of the sidewalks by forty six thousand and reduce the amount of the health director position to hang on ah, one oh one eight two five. Yes. 
to account for an increase in the consultant budget to 49,600. Did I capture yes. that correct? Yes. Okay. That can Thank you. Any other discussion? Okay. Let's do a roll call vote. Uh, Mr. Martell. Aye. Ms. Rubenstein. Aye. Mr. Wood. Aye. Mr. Palmer. Aye. Ms. Luttrell. Aye. Mr. Schoner. Aye. And I, Andrea Hamilton, I will vote aye as well. All right. The motion passes. All right. Um, so I will uh, send this in. Joe, do you want me to just email this over to you to copy and paste in? Um, I'm, you got it. I'm um, doing it right now. So okay. Just you got it. Keep okay. All right. I'll leave it there. Let me zoom it in for you. Okay. Um, so that is done. So this is our final um, list. I will send this out um, after the meeting so everyone has the final numbers. Um, and I'll share this over with um, Kathy Cooks, and she's now the new chair uh, for the select board, so she can share it as well. All right. Um, so then I had an open item if there was any um, discussion about either the select board meeting or anything else um, from the committee. It, there doesn't have to be. I just left a bucket there in case there's anything else anyone wants to bring up. I would just say you did a fabulous job, Andrew. Thanks, Mimi. You <laughs> the know, I second was that. And everything I do, I say I third it. Well, thank you, thank you. It was it, it was fun. It was a lot of learning, but um, no, this is this is great. I mean, I think we came up with a really good final result here, and I appreciate everyone's work in it. I know it's been a lot of a lot of meetings in a very short amount of time. Um, so I have been on a, like Mimi, I've been on a lot of committees for a, a number of years and you did one of the best jobs of any I've been on. So you should be really proud of yourself. Oh, I'm impressed. Well, thank you. So nice job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I went through and checked um, to make sure that all the different uh, minutes were submitted. Does anyone need any secondary documentation? It does look like folks had kind of submitted the spreadsheets and things as they went. Is there anyone who feels like that's missing from anything they submitted? Um, I think as of right now, all the different meetings should have minutes attached to them, except for the four we're gonna talk about here. We're good? Okay. Um, good. Do we wanna talk about just for like two minutes? Um, so in the presentation, Kathy had asked if we wanna, if we're ready to, to end the committee. She'd sent me a separate note asking if we wanted for the select board to vote to dissolve the committee. Um, Joe, I know in the minutes you sort of reflected that we could come back later if the board needed. Um, so I guess my question is, do we want to recommend that the select board dissolve the committee or do we want to leave it standing? I'd probably recommend to have the, the select board dissolve it when they see fit because they'll know whether they're going to need our input anymore or not. I would assume. Okay. So basically saying that our business is done and so we leave it at the will of the select board if um, they, they think they're done with receiving our input. Okay. Yeah, our, our charge was just to report out to the select board, wasn't it? Yes. Check. Yeah. I, I mean, I think we've done everything. So, I mean, I think it's fair to say that we consider ourselves complete and they're free to dissolve it. And if they decide something different, then they can vote that way. But, okay. Does anyone disagree with that? No. Okay. Joe, you got all the language down here? Yeah, I have that. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing here. Okay. Great. Um, I think that brings us to anything else anyone wants to bring up as closing business sort of on the committee itself. Okay. I'd like to thank everybody. It's been quite an education for me, my first committee in Southboro. <laughs> thank a, you, Anne. Oh, sorry, go ahead, John. The committee did an amazing amount of work in a very short period of time while everybody was busy with other committees with life in general families so kudos to all of you nice job yeah. i think it, i think we did an actually pretty good report in the end too i think you know it's well thought out uh, well vetted so nice job 
Yeah. And I've been getting some feedback from just different groups, and different organizations. It's all been really, I think people felt that it was an inclusive group that we reached out. We spoke to a lot of people. We really heard people through. I really have heard very little from folks who are disappointed <laughs> with, with outcomes. So I think in general, people felt listened to and that, you know, we really did our best to come up with a good solution. So I think that's really good. Do we know if the selectmen have made any recommendations of any or gone with any of our recommendations yet? Have they did, did, that they haven't even really started digesting it probably yet? I think that on their May 31st meeting, um, they're supposed to discuss next steps. Good. Anything else? So let's move on. Um, next is next steps. So the next step will be that I will, um, we have to submit our last couple sets of meeting minutes. Um, I will send around the final spreadsheet. And then I will send a note to Kathy, um, letting her know that we consider the charge done. Um, the select board is free to dissolve um, unless they see it otherwise. Good? Um, so let's jump on to minutes. So I'm going to recommend we look at the three from past meetings first and save the one from today till the very end. Does that make sense? Or do we want to just lump it in? What, what if a, does anyone care? I guess we'd have to see it. I, I didn't see yeah. that original one with the names. I saw a reference to it, but I didn't see it. Oh, huh. Well, how about this? Let's take care of the three that we have that are outstanding. And then let's close through. We've got public comment still here. And once that's done, then let's um, let's put it up on the screen. We can go through, we'll read it in real time, and then we can vote on it. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, so I have minutes from April 21st, minutes from May 3rd, and minutes from May 17th outstanding. Those have all gone around. Um, do I have a motion to approve? Who, who's supposed to be making the motion to approve? Mr. Martell. <laughs> Tim, you want to make a motion to approve? So moved. All right. Do I have a second? John, second. Uh, uh, yeah, here you are. You're muted, John. I, I second. Sorry. I All wasn't right. going to the script. <laughs> uh, discussion? Everyone's good. All right, let's take a vote. Uh, Mr. Martell? Yes. Ms. Rubenstein? Yes. Mr. Wood? Yes. Mr. Palmer? Yes. Ms. Luttrell? Yes. Mr. Schoner? Yes. And I will vote yes. Okay, so we have approved the minutes from April 21, May 3, and May 17th. And so I will just ask, um, please make sure you send those into the meetings um, uh, mailbox um, if, if you own one of those. All right. Um, moving on, um, so I will open for public comment. Let's see if we have anyone. Um, we have a couple folks. So if you would like to comment, um, please just click on the little hand button at the bottom of your Zoom window. Okay, I see no comment. All right, um, next we have next meeting. Um, next meeting is that there is no next meeting. So I think we're all set there. Um, which brings us to uh, review and vote on the minutes for today. Uh, Joe, do you want to pop them on the screen? Are you able to share that? And we can just do a real-time review. It should be hitting everybody's email right now. Okay. Oh, okay. Do you want to share, Joe, or do you want me to pull it up? I've never, I've never shared before. <laughs> so is that, is that a challenge or you want me to just grab it? Well, I don't know. I don't know how that works. Okay. I can share. Let me... I can, I can press screen share and see what happens. You, you are more than welcome. It's you, um, If you want to give it a try, go ahead and I will have it up as a backup. If it's that says host, more than 10 host disabled participant screen sharing. Uh, all right. You know, I, I think we can all read them, right? We've all received them. Yep. Okay. They are all in your, they're the new versions in your email right now. They look very straightforward, Joe. Thanks. I can't see them, hang on.
Thank you for doing those in real time, Joe. No problem. That's why I had to have them pre-written. I don't type that fast. I'll make a motion to accept. Up. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know if that's. Oh, Mr. Martell has to make the motion to accept. And I second. Yes. Thank you. So moved. Second. <laughs> All right, discussion. Hold on, I'm still just reviewing. Are other folks still taking a look through? I don't see it, to be honest. Hang on. It says uh, I have an agenda that just arrived. Yeah, that's what I have too. Joe, I think it was the. Did I mess agenda. up? Yeah, it's the agenda that went around. Yeah. Oh, that is what he sent. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Let's try this one more time. Rats. Well, it's better than the, the medical form I almost sent you the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that didn't show up. ARPA committee meeting draft. Why is it not showing up as a PDF? Oh, there it is, PDF. It is PDF. Okay, hold on. I forgot to put the. I don't need a subject. No, that's fine. Try this one. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is that better? Yes. Very good. Ah, good. Yep. Excellent. I think I called it to order at 731. Maybe 730. I don't know. You're going to have to change the time. Oh, the, the end time? Yep. Okay. Give it a 7.45 and it's 7.53 now. I mean, it's semantics, I understand, but... No, 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 it's not semantics, just good planning. I want to make it 7... I actually want to make it 7.59. Or 7, well, yeah, 7.59. Yeah, we can always talk about nothing if we need to. <laughs> Joe, does this one have... Did you put the motion in here? I don't see the motion in it. Is this the updated one with the motion? Should be, is it not? No, I just see Ms. Rubens. I think this is the original one that you'd sent around. My well, she has, it has that it uh, accept the motion, made a motion to the committee to accept the report as edited. Is yeah, that, but does it that... have a separate motion for May 24th? So I actually have two of these going. That's my problem. Jeez, I'm just not <laughs> doing okay. my job tonight, man. It's okay. We're just keeping you honest, Joe. I know it's hard when you're like doing all of it in real time. Oh, no. I should be. You got four minutes, just saying. And then you got to have to change the time again. <laughs> I like people with a sense of humor. Wow. Okay. Let's try this again. See, this makes you look even better, Andrea. Thanks. You do Joe. all this on the fly all the time. <laughs> I will say sometimes it takes me a little while to like get things moved around. Okay. This one cannot be missed. There we go. All right, let's send that one off. You'll notice the hooray at the end. That's why I knew it was this one. <laughs> I like it. All right, so let's see. <laughs> that see I come through this motion. time? Yes, and I see the adjusted motion. So let me just download it. I don't know how I got two of them going. <laughs> just don't. All right. Well, when we do this again, I'll try and get it right the first time. All right, perfect. <laughs> do we need to recall the initial motion for the minutes we accepted to the amended minutes? No, no, we haven't approved these minutes yet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this now has the like, yeah. 
Okay. I feel like I'm on top chef. We have three minutes. Two. Good dog. Excuse me. Bless you. Bless you. Colin, thank do you. Do we want to add, do we need to reference um, the spreadsheet that I put up? That was the amended final ARPA committee report, wasn't it? Well, it was called someone else, but let me save it as that and then it will be. <laughs> or I could put report spreadsheet. We are discussing, so we can do that. Ar ARPA request tracker final. That's ARPA enough. It's really close enough. I'm just going to put... request tracker final. There you go. Okay. And I'm going to leave the, um, the amended final ARPA report on there as number two. So, because that we yep. chat, we talked about that too. Yep. So, so that's the, um, you need the, the PowerPoint? Yes. Okay. Because we would have amended the figures that we gave to the final report. I have not amended that. Do we need to amend that or do we consider the tracker the final sort of list? It's the only place I'll I take have it amended out. is. We'll yeah. just do the tracker. All done. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Um, good. So let's do I have did I, did I have a motion to approve these? I yes. think I did, right? Okay. Yeah. Is there any additional discussion? I'll just, how about we just leave it open that Joe can adjust the final time if he needs to. Okay. All right. Um, okay, let's do a roll call vote. Mr. Martell? Aye. Ms. Rubenstein? Aye. Mr. Wood? Aye. Mr. Palmer? Aye. Ms. Luttrell? Aye. Mr. Schoner? Aye. I will vote aye. All right, the motion passes. The minutes are approved. Um, all right, so I guess I will make a motion to adjourn at 7.59. Nice. Second. <laughs> Perfect timing, Sec oh, who's on the script? I second. All right, I will do a roll call vote. Mr. Martell? Aye. Mr. Rubenstein? Aye. Mr. Wood? Aye. Mr. Palmer? Aye. Ms. Luttrell? Aye. Mr. Schoner? Aye. I vote aye, and the meeting is adjourned at 7.59. Woo All right, guys. I love you. <laughs> I really do love well you guys, done, everyone. Man. No, this was great. Thank you, everyone. All right, guys. Around will... town. Yes, yeah. Thank you. Guys... Oh. Question yeah. for you: Is your dad yeah. doing the garden this year? He is. Yeah, That's he's the they're looking for volunteers. The That's like so awesome. That <laughs> yeah. Well, well, they they are they are looking for manual labor all the time, John. So, uh, if if you ever want to coming in all broken up, I'm losing the connection. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying they're always like. <laughs> <laughs> all right good, good all right everyone i will leave it there well, good night, again, good night. Great job. all right bye bye bye, -bye.